A viewer of mine reached out recently to let me know that part of his job is to clear out bats from buildings. Now bats in the UK are protected species so you need to be a specialist to actually remove them. Now when he had removed them of course what was left behind was a lot of bat guano or bat poo. Now bat guano is an awesome awesome fertilizer for your plants and there really isn't much better than that. I love using vermicompost. Uh, if you watch my videos you'll know that I harvest a lot of worm poo or vermicompost and I use that extensively when I'm growing my chili plants. But I thought it'd be quite a cool idea to compare vermicompost to bat guano. So I got a little package here from my viewer, thank you so much, and I'm going to be running an experiment through the year. What we're going to do is I'm going to be using my same compost mix that I use and I'll put it up on the screen now. And the only change I'll make is in one of my plants I'm going to be using bat guano and the other one I'm going to be using my vermicompost. So let's have a look at the plants we're going to be using. The two plants we'll be using are these two peri-peri plants. They are very similar in height and in size so it should be a good comparison. I'll mark up the one with the vermicompost and I'll mark up the other one obviously with the bat guano. Ah, two little bags of it. That is gorgeous looking stuff. So that is going to be perfect. See that healthy root system, so it's a good looking plant, very healthy looking. If you do work with bat guano, actually if you work with any sort of compost, just make sure you wash your hands straight afterwards. So this one will be marked with bat guano, so B G and we'll keep an eye on that through the season. So if we look at the roots of this plant, this is the one that's going to have the vermicompost. My guess is it's going to be just as healthy looking as the last one. There we go. That's looking just perfect. So it's going to go in here. And we'll mark that up as well and put a VC on it for vermicompost. And that's it. We will check back in on these plants through the season and see how they progress. This has really surprised me. It's been a few months now and we can see there is a definite difference between the two plants. If you remember, both plants are peri-peri, both were planted at the same time. 
They've also been in the same spot in the greenhouse, so they've been getting the same amount of light, and they've also been getting the same amount of nutrients and water on the same schedule. The only difference between the two is that this one here has vermicompost, and this one here has some bat guano. Now, there are two main differences I'm seeing. Number one, this is much taller, it has grown much bigger. But if we have a look at the vermicompost plant, this one here is looking denser to me, and it has a lot more flowers, so you can see loads of flowers on this. And there's a bunch more peppers as well. So if you have a look, you can see these peppers coming through. There's quite a few. I count about 10 or 12 uh, peppers on this at least. On the bat guano plant, I can see oh, about three chilies. And the flowers are only just starting out. So there's still going to be quite a few flowers on here. But it seems that the growth has gone mostly to the flowers and to the chilies themselves when it comes to the vermicompost side and on the back guano side it seems to just be making a massive plant so i don't know what to read into that this is a small sample size we're looking at a sample size of one if we were truly doing this experiment you'd want to have 50 plants to compare side by side i just don't have the time or the space to be honest it would be good to do this experiment on a bigger scale and i might do that maybe next year I'm hoping to have a little bit more space to work with and uh, if I do then I'll definitely will do something similar to this and maybe include a few other different types of compost as well in that comparison. But so far pretty fascinating results and I'm impressed there is a difference. I was really worried that these were just going to look exactly the same and we weren't going to see any kind of difference between the two different compost types. I'll keep you updated on the progress of these two plants in my garden update series and we'll we'll see if there's any major difference over the next couple of months as we get further into the season but as for this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned a couple things and i look forward to seeing you on the next one until then stay safe and stay spicy